All right, what's up, y'all? It's like a fan here. As y'all can see by the title of today's video, ranking every takeover in NBA 2K21 Next Gen in tiers F through S. So we're going to start from the bottom, go to the top like we always do. I hope y'all enjoy. If you do, feel free to drop a like, sub if you're new, turn on the noties, all that good stuff. Let's try this 1 to 800 likes in the first 24 hours. And without further ado, we're going to get straight into this. But real quick, you can see the color key. Anything that's in orange is going to be post. White is glass takeover. Yellow is playmaker takeover. Red is rim. Pink is block. Blue is slash. Green is sharp. And then X is shot creator. I know it's too big, so I couldn't fit the whole word on the screen but either way you get the deal all right so what we're gonna do we're gonna reveal the e and the f tier at the exact same time because i feel like all these takeovers flat out are just not worth running whether it's the fact that there's one that's better out there in a different category like a sharp takeover a shot creator takeover or there's something better in the exact same post scoring category or playmaking glass cleaner rim slash whatever it may be either way there's way better options above these and i wouldn't advocate for ever running these on any build that you have because flat out their impact is nowhere near enough effective all right so what we're gonna do we're gonna feel the e and the f tier at the exact same time because i feel like all these takeovers right here there's a lot of takeovers in this game that are just not effective at all and honestly just belong in the trash can so we're gonna go over all these real quick and give a brief overview but you can see whether it be just the fact that there's something better in a different category like sharpshooter and shot creator or something like that or there's a better post takeover out there there's a better playmaker takeover glass rim slash whatever it may be you guys get the deal these are just the ineffective takeovers that I would not suggest anybody run no matter what your build is of any extent. Now listen, one last thing I want to mention as well is you might be somebody who's like, well, Laker, I have post playmaking and I can still break people on post spins and drop steps and stuff like that. Well, listen, I understand every takeover is effective, right? Like post takeover itself of the abilities that it's going to give you and what makes you effective in that post scoring sense is still an effective takeover. It is what it is, right? But here's my thing. Every takeover is going to be somewhat solid. It's going to be good. Like, you know, just post is going to do what post takeover is supposed to do. Glass is going to do what glass is supposed to do. Slash is going to do what slash is supposed to do. Just because it's advanced gathers doesn't mean you're not going to get more enhanced contact dunks and stuff like that as well. You're still going to get the boost to the attributes, etc. And I actually made a video on that as well if you want to check that out. But anyway... We're going to go ahead and just go a real, real brief explanation on all these. So post playmaking, boost your teammates' offensive abilities, quote unquote, when passing out to them from the post. Pretty much just an extension of dimer. And then glass cleaning dimes is the exact same thing. Essentially, O board, kick out, dimer pretty much how it works and then it also says it helps you throw successful outlet passes after rebounds so if you're somebody who plays pro-am or something like that i can understand why glass cleaning dimes might be somewhat effective for you but even at that i mean we all know bro like like i said there's just so many more effective takeovers in this s a b c even d tier so i just feel like anything that belongs in this e and the f they really do belong here straight up that's just how i feel same with the power back downs increase your ability to back down quote unquote even the strongest defenders in the post i mean it is what it is man i feel like straight up you're already gonna be able to back people down as it is i would much rather have advanced post moves or something like that which is going to give you crazy post spins crazy drop steps etc stuff like that or even post shot daggers as well but either way power back downs real trash team rating boost will give your teammates a plus four for as long as you have your takeover activated honestly man the thing that i see with this takeover it's a pretty solid like role player takeover if you will where say you're a corner spot up you're not really too involved in the offense it is a solid takeover at the fact that you know all these playmaker takeovers are honestly a solid spot up takeover but the thing about it is you have to do playmaking related things to get your progress quicker so you're not going to be doing playmaking related things from the corner spotting up and just shooting corner jump shots and stuff like that playing defense you might get some outlets off rebounds or something like that but even at that honestly just team rating boost not even worth it there's other playmaking takeovers that are way more valuable on higher in the list Next up, we have Advanced Gathers. Unlocks more effective Euro Spin, Hop, and Cradle Gathers and avoids gem ups. The way I see this takeover, Hop Dunks aren't quite as effective as they used to be in years past, like 2K20. And honestly, even the Spin Dunks, like the crazy Spin Dunk, if y'all know what I'm talking about, even that isn't really too affected by Advanced Gathers in the first place. I just feel like this takeover in general, not really worth running at all. There's way better slash takeovers out there. And honestly, I don't want to keep on repeating that exact same phrase. There's better this out there. There's better that out there. But honestly, it's just the truth. There's no point in running things like Advanced gathers so now into the e tier we have team takeover boost now i'm not gonna lie this is the one that's very vague to me i haven't been able to see this firsthand whether it's going against anybody with it or myself with it but i'm gonna just put it like this the description of it says boost the progress of each of your teammates takeover meters when activated now i don't know if that means that they get a boost like as in once you activate it boom they just get like a little bit like the rep boost essentially right <laughs> where it just moved everybody up a little bit i don't know if it just moves all of, all of your teammates takeovers like up a little bit or if it multiplies the takeover progress they would get while it's activated and they have to earn that now honestly either way is not very effective and just not going to be very good unless it's a massive boost 
Honestly, I do apologize to you guys that I don't have the 100% knowledge of this takeover before bringing this video to you, but I gotta say, either way, flat out, pretty much every takeover is pretty bad. I'm, I'm just gonna be real with y'all. Like, straight up, every takeover is pretty much bad when it comes to the playmakers. Now, next up, we have post shot daggers. Essentially, this is gonna be for your post hooks, post fades, post shimmies, post hops, all types of stuff like that. Anything to do with shooting the ball out of the post. Now, I'm gonna just put it like this. That's a very wide range, and honestly, it could be effective in that sense if you're like a, you know, versatile post scorer when it comes to the fades, hooks, shimmies. If you're on some 2K17 stuff and you got a lot of tricks in the book, and I pay you my respect to any of you out there who do that type of stuff, but I'm gonna just be real. Post scoring this year feels very just drop step and post spin oriented. And honestly, just, I mean, I'm gonna be real. Post scoring itself is a kind of a dying breed in this 2K21 next gen stuff. It's all ISO. It's all just ISO from the top and shoot when you're wide open, contact, dunk all over the place. Post scoring just feels like it's a little bit overrated, if I will. But either way, post shot daggers is one of the better post takeovers of all of the options. Then we got interior badge drop. All of these badge drop takeovers essentially are gonna drop your opponent's badges in the area that it pertains to. So for the interior, it's gonna drop anybody's posterizer, slithery finisher, finishing badges essentially down by one tier. So if they have them on Hall of Fame, it's gonna drop it to gold. Let's just be real. I mean, honestly, that's not very effective in the first place. You can make the case that it should have been in the F tier in the first place. I would say it's definitely not as good as either of these E tier takeovers as well. But either way, interior badge drop, like I said, not really the most effective thing, but rim takeover itself, I do like. I will say that it's pretty effective in stopping people from dunking. So rim takeover overall is a nice little W, but the ability that comes with this, not, not really it. So now for the D tier, we got team badge boost, advanced post moves, and perimeter badge drop. Now, let's start from left to right still with this. Team badge boost, I'm not gonna lie, like I said, it's definitely one of the best playmaker takeovers. It is the best, it's, I mean, it's at the top right here. There's only three of them, but <laughs> I'm gonna just put it like this. It is, it is kind of solid. I like the idea of it where it's gonna boost your teammates' badges by one level for as long as you have it on, but I don't like the fact that it has to be your point guard to take over to be effective. Now, if this could be your role player, like your spot up lock, like I was saying, this would be low key kind of fire. And I'm not gonna lie, I might be sleeping on this a little bit because if you're able to get the solid progress or your point guard doesn't have to run this and you can have it be your lockdown and just your role player in the corner, right? If you could, if your point guard could get team takeover or if your big man or the pick and roller, whatever you wanna call it, could get team takeover, then that's a different story. But Honestly, with all that said, just in a casual sense of like trying to play a competitive game and not go out of your way to get the team takeover or anything like that, this isn't really too effective because like I said, I don't like the whole idea of playmaker takeover, having to do playmaker type things to get your takeover quickly. But like I said, the ability itself is still pretty solid. The fact that you can boost every one of your teammates badges by one level, that is pretty fire. And for somebody like me who only has eight shooting badges on their build, but has gold hot zone hunter, gold deep threes and silver catch and shoot, or, you know, gold catch and shoot, silver deep threes, whatever way you want to talk about. For me to get hall of fame hot zone hunter or something like that, or an added catch and shoot boost or an added, you know, deep threes boost for the extra range, that would be kind of fire. So honestly, you could say I'm sleeping on this takeover. Again, it's just about the role that is played with this. I don't want one of my point guards having this takeover because flat out this s tier is loaded with takeovers i would rather have my point guard have in the first place then we got advanced post moves this is going to be enhanced drop steps and post spins like i was talking about earlier this is the style of post scoring that i feel like is going to be somewhat effective on nba 2k21 next gen but i'm gonna just put it like this again the post score takeover itself and just post scores in general it does feel like a little bit of a dying breed when it comes to the 2k21 stuff where Again, it's all just ISO, contact dunk, three-pointer here, fade all over the place. And just for you to be lacking the speed and just, you know, the versatility when it comes to whether it's defense, offense, whatever it may be, when you have to run the whole team through you, especially for anything other than twos. Like if we're talking threes, man, you're just useless if you're a post scorer in general. And honestly, like even the twos, it does feel a little bit of a diminished role, if you will. But I will say for anybody who likes the post scoring aspect, advanced post moves is for sure the best one. If you were to run double like enhanced post move or advanced post moves and post shot daggers, if you are somebody who likes the post scoring stuff, this could be a pretty solid little situation for you where you're going to be able to do literally anything. Post spin, drop step, post fade, post hook, you know, the shimmy shots, even though that's complete trash. And then the hop shots, if that's any, you know, effectiveness this year as well. It's not the worst combo. I will say you could still be effective with this, but getting your takeover on is still something you'd have to do. So keep that in mind. 
So then again, not too much explanation we have to do with the perimeter badge drop. Now, I will say the effectiveness of this is definitely higher than something like interior badge drop, where I just feel like flat out to be able to stop people from scoring threes. When it comes to 3v3, this is more important. Honestly, my view on this might flip if I was thinking a little bit more 2v2 oriented, but either way, it is still going to be nice to drop people's, say, blinders or deep threes, whatever it may be, hot zone hunter. Even though still gold on those is still going to be pretty solid, I do think this is going to be a little bit more impactful than for your interior badge drop. But if you are somebody who definitely plays twos and never plays threes, I will say this perimeter badge drop might be a little less effective than the interior. Either way, both the badge drop takeovers aren't really the most effective and that's why they're both in the D tier or lower. So now into the C tier, we got box out wall, paint intimidation, and stuff blocks. Now this is where things start to get pretty solid. I'm gonna be real, like anything C tier and up is something that I would say you could definitely use and rock out with and still be very effective. So for box out wall, essentially, what it is, and it's it's a lot more than what it sounds like. This is worm combined with box. It's like enhanced rebounding in every sense of it. Now, it doesn't make you like, you know, jump higher or get like enhanced rebound chase or anything like that. But what I will say, like I said, for the box outs and the defending or like stopping people from boxing you out, aka the worm aspect where you're gonna like swim move slash like spin around people this is super effective and i gotta say the glass takeovers are pretty solid aside from you know good old good old glass cleaning dimes down here completely useless but box out wall and see the future super fire takeovers if you're somebody who likes the big man big man type stuff and you're a big screen setter like you prefer the true inside bigs of the past box out wall is pretty solid for you and i i kind of find it funny that a lot of this stuff right here is the the inside big oriented stuff with the the with the big bigs essentially so then for paint intimidation, this is very solid for stopping you from getting blocked. But then we also have things like stuff blocks, where it's just going to give you like, you know, crazy animations of the of the snatch blocks, if you will, the chase downs and stuff like that. Now, I'm not going to lie. I might be sleeping on stuff blocks. This might be something that we need to stop the ISO meta. Unfortunately, I won't ever be able to try this out myself because rim takeover itself is so hard to actually be able to get. You have to be like super high into your defense. And we all know the deal with interior defense in this game. Super hard to upgrade on your build, especially if you're a small forward, power forward, anywhere from like six foot seven to six foot eight. But for all the real bigs out there, like people who upgraded their interior D, or if you're just, you know, flat out one of those six eights and six nines or six sevens or anything like that, and you actually did upgrade your interior D, I gotta say, stuff blocks might be something that's worth looking into and even paint intimidation because we all know with the super OD like dunking in this game, honestly it does get very frustrating and very annoying but these might be able to stop those types of things so paint intimidation i didn't really give too much of a description to honestly i do think this could be very solid when it comes to you know not getting dunked on quite as much i think this is more of like a if like here's me at the rim here's somebody coming right in at me prevent yourself from just getting flat out dunked on i think stuff blocks is more of a if you're playing them super high and they get past you it's going to be way better for like chase down blocks or just get snatch blocks from behind so i think this is for more of an aggressive defender this is for more of like a team defender like if you're talking pro-am sitting in the paint stuff like that and you're really like never leaving the paint for the most part so now we're getting to the really good ones we got easy blow by see the future and enhanced jump shot contest so for the easy blow bys it's kind of funny because this takeover right here i wouldn't even suggest it for the real slashers out there i would say i mean yeah you can still use it in the sense of like if people are you know sagging off on you you can still get a blow by on them from like a little bit further back but i honestly feel like this would be good for like the pgs out there so we're talking anybody who's running the iso or anything like that and you got say limitless range or something and then you combine that with easy blow buys so when you have limitless on or just a sharp takeover in general or even a shot creator one where you're going like crazy fades and stuff like that i'm gonna just put it like this people gotta play you up and when they play you up boom combine that with easy blow buys and you have the double takeover that is lethal man like it's just gonna be so frustrating to try and guard that iso so i think this is a good complimentary like secondary takeover to any pg out there or even the slashers out there who want to run say like finishing moves and easy blow buys so just keep that in mind but i will say like i said this is more of a pg takeover if you will where you're going to combine this with something like shot creator or sharp takeover so then we got to see the future. This again is another glass cleaning takeover one. This is pretty much the ability that you would expect from the glass takeover in the past. This is the visual one. Now, I feel like honestly, in years past, it was all these things combined. Now, I don't know about this whole glass cleaning dimes. I think honestly, it'd be crazy if that was part of glass takeover, like you actually had better uh, dimer aspect when it comes to like kicking out on O boards or something like that. But anyway, you guys get the deal. Glass takeover over the past few years has been see the future with box out wall combined. You get the super crazy spin moves. You get the crazy box outs. You get to see where the ball is going to go once a shot goes up. Now, I got to say, honestly, I don't suggest 
this takeover for somebody that's gonna be super super tall because I don't feel like you're gonna have the mobility to get to everything but if you're somebody who's around six foot seven six foot eight and you're still able to accumulate the glass takeover I gotta say man this thing could be crazy like you would have so much more mobility and if you know where the ball is going half the time in this game I feel like it's long rebounds where you really don't have to jump for them and they just end up going super far and if you know where that exactly is then boom you're all good like you can just go to where the shot is going to bounce to and we all know the effectiveness of the see the future aspect of the glass takeover of years past and it's been a super fire one just in general so now we got enhanced jump shot contest. I'm not going to lie. I haven't seen this firsthand. I haven't used it myself. But what I will say is contesting shots is super important in this game. Flat out. Like if you can play a little bit further back and still get a strong contest and anything that can just strengthen your contest is going to be super important because people are still hitting contested stuff. Like it's really frustrating. But the higher you get, obviously, the less likely it is to go in. I mean, flat out, people are going to green if they're getting zero percent. That's just how it is. If you can at least get the 40 or 50 people are going to miss more occasionally and then obviously you know not green quite as much which leaves it up to some rng but you guys get the deal it is what it is enhanced jump shot contest i'm not gonna say this is the best lock takeover by any means obviously there's one that we haven't shown right here that is gonna be in the a tier but i gotta say this is still a pretty solid one i would assume again i haven't used this myself and i'm gonna be completely honest with y'all when i say that like i'm not just gonna straight sit here and lie to y'all and be like oh i've used this myself like i was getting you know 80 percent contest without even like jumping at somebody or even throwing my hands up to contest them again i haven't used this myself i haven't seen it firsthand and somebody could have been using the lock takeover out there and still had the enhanced jump shot contest but i can't tell because I can't just tell what their takeover is. It just shows the lock takeover. I can't tell what actual specification of it there is. All right, now everything from the A tier and up, A and S, I have seen or used firsthand me or my teammate, or I knew my opponent had the badge on because of just like seeing them in the stream or anything like that, like actual other creators that I was playing against and stuff like that. So I have 100% great like experienced knowledge with all these takeovers so for spot of precision i actually use this myself on my new build and i gotta say it helps a, a build like mine where i have eight shooting badges and to be able to have this as my primary takeover is massive bro like this just turns me into a straight up sharp shooter with eight shooting badges like for no reason bro and you know nothing extravagant i just like i said have the catch and shoot hot zone hunter and, and deep threes but this straight up makes you like a legitimate pick and popper i will say it's kind of specific in that sense where this isn't going to be a super effective takeover if you have a lot of shooting badges because i definitely recommend limitless range or a shot creating takeover if you have a lot of shooting badges you can like really get extravagant with the fading and stuff like that and the the step back hop jumpers and stuff like that but again spot up precision super fire for anybody who has a low badge count and maybe i'm biased by putting this really high because it, it helps me so much but feel free to leave your feedback and let me know in the comments <laughs> So now we have ankle breaking shots. I gotta say, bro, this straight up is one of the most annoying takeovers in the game. But is it the most effective? I don't really know. So yes, I do think so, because what it's essentially specific to is hop jumpers, step back jumpers, if you will, right? And it breaks ankles like crazy. So it is super entertaining. It's super effective in that sense. But as far as like actual comp, I feel like pull up precision, which is another takeover that we'll just get into right here very soon is way better than this if we're talking actual competitive nature and then obviously you got things like limitless range that are just just kind of a step ahead of this i'll say so next up we have finishing moves this is the best slasher slasher takeover by far so again we had easy blow buys but this in my opinion is more of a point guard takeover where again this is just going to be more so for the iso stuff where you're going to be a uh, kind of dual threat when it comes to the shooting and the slashing if you're somebody who likes to get to the hoop straight up you like to get the contact dunks do the crazy spin dunks etc stuff like that finishing moves is fire bro that's all i can really say about it i've used it firsthand and that was the only slash takeover that i really chose to extensively use too much i mean like i said advanced gathers that's just a horrible description and it really doesn't give me any incentive to think that it's going to be any good and then easy blow buys i already know what that's going to lead to but I don't feel like I really need that when it comes to the slasher slasher sense. Finishing moves is for sure what you want. If you're somebody who's been like an inside inside hybrid slasher, if you will, like six foot eight to six foot nine, or even six seven, six six over the past years, where you like to get in, you know, get into the hoop, get in for the dunks and stuff like that, for sure. So next up we have extreme clamps i want to clarify for all you guys this was my secondary takeover on my very first build and then this one right here is my primary takeover and since the mama mentality badge was entirely broken i'd like to think i have some really good expertise on what both of these were doing for me so extreme clamps like i said was my secondary it wasn't on quite as much as finishing moves was 
but I gotta say, when, when this thing was on, I do feel like it really enhanced my defense. Now, I don't know if 2K changed the defense in general, and I don't know what the takeovers do for your ability when the takeover is not activated, but I gotta say, I played some tremendous defense on that build, and for whatever reason, I don't really feel like I'm emulating the same type of defense on this power forward build. I don't know if it's tendency based, or also, I'm pretty low overall on this power forward, so I guess, you know, take it with a grain of salt. But either way, extreme clamps, super important for the meta of this game to where it's gonna be very 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 iso based and if you can get in between your opponent and make up for how bad bumps bumps and like on ball defense is in general it's super important so if you're somebody who's playing 3v3 and you're like straight up a lockdown like you want to be out there to play defense guard ball every time and then you'll get super irritated when they go away from you but <laughs> listen if you're out there to play on ball defense at all times this is a fire takeover you're gonna get your progress very well as well obviously lockdown takeover is gonna lead you to you know better situations like that and flat out i think it's the best lock takeover for sure jump enhanced jump shot contest is pretty solid but nowhere near as effective as extreme clamps and again perimeter bash drop just nowhere near <laughs> any good and i gotta say man this s tier is looking dangerous now if you wanted to i would say you could move ankle breaking shots up into this s tier as well but in here we have limitless range pull up precision negative impact what more can i say about this stuff bro like honestly i know for there's a lot of people watching this that haven't even played 2k21 next gen so you guys have no clue what i'm talking about when i say like you know the power of this if you've seen the game but for those who have seen the game like i said you guys know the power of these takeovers so to give some explanation and some description to it limitless range ridiculous like probably the best takeover in the game as far as the range that it gives you like i'm talking all the way to half court bro like on 2v2 half court and then for threes like probably four or five feet beyond half court for the 3v3 half now in pro-am i don't know what to like relatively say for that but this is going to be fire for pro-am too because i feel like range is key when it comes to the pick and roll and i will say five out doesn't look to be extremely meta on pro-am like i was anticipating it would be it looks to be pretty screen heavy so with all that said it's going to be super important to have the good range in the pick and roll game where you're going to open up a lot of the the spacing for you and your big man when you're working with that stuff and honestly you might have a pick and pop big anyway most likely it's what it's always going to be so you don't exactly always need the range but on top of that for 3v3 2v2 whatever it may be super effective super crazy range pull up precision honestly i think a lot of people sleep on these two because they, are, they just get so enamored with the ankle breaking shots and just how flashy it is but i gotta say man these two right here combined with each other oh my god it is just ridiculous bro now honestly I don't think you need the limitless range so much if you're just hugging the three-point line or you're like you know just in the casual range of the deep threes of what the badge is going to give you instead of just this takeover right so if you have both of these takeovers on and you go with the double shot creator takeover it is super dangerous for threes or twos either way the three pointers that you can do with the fadeaways or even just mid ranges too i haven't really even seen the mid range though because flat out again this game is super iso based and to be able to just fade from super far away is it's just ridiculous bro and then the negative impact as far as like it you know decreases the shot contest of the of what people are going to get on you i mean defending a fade in the first place of somebody who's super fast and is just outrunning you already and already has a step on you what gives you a chance to contest them for the most time in the most part is when they actually have to stop and like you know quick stop to try and shoot now you get like probably a second in between that to try and get a little bit closer and contest that but when they continue moving and they fade away from you it just makes it already hard enough to contest the shot and then when you add negative impact and pull up precision to it bro fading in this game is flat out ridiculous whether it's twos or threes and you're trying to get the three pointers up just crazy so anyway that's all for the video i hope you all enjoyed if you did feel free to drop a like sub if you're new turn on the noties all that good stuff like i said in the intro let's try this one to 800 likes in the first 24 hours if you made it to the very end of the video put take in the comments to show your support you made all the way through now for anybody who made it to the very end of this one as well if you haven't already checked out the song that i dropped like two days ago feel free to check that out and i did tell my boy a dog who did a reaction to my video that i was going to shout him out for it because flat out that's real love man like the fact that you know that's my first song ever and my boy was over here showing me mad love and like I, I really appreciate the video a ton it was super hilarious like you guys would probably love it as well and honestly i hope you guys did enjoy the song as well it was some real stuff too some real controversial stuff on top of that but anyway i told my boy a dog i'd shout him out so i'm gonna put his link in the description and if you want to check that video out go go ahead if you haven't already listened to the song feel free to listen to it first and then go check out the reaction but show my boy some love he's a real cool genuine dude man and i really do appreciate all the love he showed on that video anyway 
that's all for the vid and let me know if you guys are gonna check that out if you're going to go check that out put music in the comments to show your support you made all the way through i know i'm mad corny with these little comment to show what you're doing but it really does help me understand the the feedback and how many people are listening and making it to the end of the video and actually interacting with the stuff that i'm trying to put y'all onto. so anyway that's all for the vid i hope y'all enjoyed none of that take it easy man peace